How much more will the Federal Reserve raise interest rates? Very likely 75 basis points. This is the Inside Chinese. I'm Zheng Jufeng. The U.S. January inflation data came in hotter than expected. The consumer price index rose 0.5 percent in January. The annual inflation rate also surprised on the upside at 6.4 percent, way above the Fed's target of 2 percent, and what U.S. politicians can accept. That's why two Fed policymakers indicated that they are open to support a 50 basis point increase in March, bringing the Fed fund rate above 5 percent. Goldman Sachs and the Bank of America expect a quarter percent hike in June for a peak rate of 5.5 percent. An interest rate above 5 percent on the U.S. dollar will be detrimental to many other economies, especially those with large external debts or international payment imbalance. Fed rate moves have become a cyclical issue for many decades. Every time the U.S. experiences high inflation rate, the Fed gets into a rate hike circle, and the dollar strengthens, and that has repercussions worldwide. Other currencies, whether it's the euro, the Japanese yen, the Chinese yuan, or hundreds of other currencies around the world, will depreciate against the dollar. Capital flows from all around the world to the U.S. to seek higher risk-free returns. That leaves degradation of many currencies and debt crisis in some others. We already see this happening in Sri Lanka, Venezuela, and Turkey to some extent. The problem is that the world trading system is still predominantly settled in the U.S. dollar, and the dollar has been used by many countries as a reserve currency as well. Essentially, these economies are held hostage by the U.S. economy and the U.S. Fed. A report titled "U.S. Hegemony and Its Perils" was published by the Xinhua News Agency on Monday. It says the hegemony of U.S. dollar is the main source of instability in the world economy now. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the U.S. abused its global financial hegemony and injected trillions of dollars into the global market, leaving other countries, especially emerging economies, to pay the price. Since 2022, the Fed ended its ultra-easy monetary policy and turned to aggressive interest rate hikes, causing turmoil in the international financial market and substantial depreciation of other currencies. Many currencies dropped to a 20-year low. Many developing countries were challenged by a triple blow of high inflation, currency depreciation, and capital outflows. This was exactly what the U.S. President Nixon's Secretary of Treasury John Connolly once remarked, with self-satisfaction and yet sharp precision, that the dollar is our currency, but it's your problem.